we got here uh, late last night and we're really paying attention to how close we parked together and uh, turns out it worked out pretty good you can still see right through there keeping it tight Dude. <laughs> that is so that sketchy. <laughs> I told you that would be sick. Video does no justice for that. Dude, you were so high. If you would have dropped, you would have <laughs> yeah. broke, oh, broke a leg. <laughs> you would have broke a leg. I was like, Dude. oh my. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> Track sweepers. No! <laughs> and as they that scatter. That was below the belt. As they scatter, they're like, get out of here, we're gonna be on video. Well, yeah, you know, the lights come on, they scatter. <laughs> but the answer's four. <laughs> four good ones. It is Sunday morning. I'm getting ready to go put the display up. Kind of hanging out in the trailer. It kind of rained last night. Not a lot, but just enough to kind of get the ground or the grass wet. And they keep pushing the rain back and it keeps getting a little bit more scattered. So we were looking at pretty much 100% mudder and now might get Cooper's race in, Bryce might get his in, but looks like uh, there's definitely a big sell coming for the PM bikes so I don't know we'll see how it goes it was kind of dusty here yesterday so maybe a little bit of rain kind of helped it but we're gonna go get set up and get ready to go watch the youth race look at sharp Here we go with the super mini class in the morning. Uh, Ethan Grunman and then uh, Levi uh, Fortune on Bryce's old super mini. Gets the whole shot there. Brody Amos in the 85 senior class. Getting a good start there. And this is 85 Junior, Tucker McCurry, and this new gas gas out in front. One bike there is not very happy with its carburetor settings. In the 65 class, it's like Charlie Holland gets out to an early lead, but then uh, Deacon sneaks in on the inside here. So Charlie tries to cut back a couple different times. They have a nice little drag race to the woods. But I think Deegan edged him out. That was a good couple first turns. The trail rider class. You know why that 
that kid got the whole shot. Doc coming through pretty smooth on the first lap. As you can see, it rained a lot more than I thought it did early when I was in the trailer there. It, it rained quite a bit. It was nasty. There's Brody already up into several of the super mini class. This is Doc just after the finish line heading back out through the woods. There's Deegan coming through. Then Tucker McCreary right behind him. It's quite slippery out there, for sure. You can kind of see how slippery this corner is, and then I think I have a shot of. Yeah, right here. Uh, Brody using that cushion. Hey! Hey, I thought it was muddy. Using that cushion on the outside, he didn't even uh, budge. I should put PS4 tomorrow. <laughs> Pit board for uh, Griffin says race now, rest later. How's it looking in the woods? Those woods are good, but I don't know about them. They are kicking up some dust on these corners. Is Levi still in second? I think. Why are you acting so bummy? I don't know, I just don't feel like talking right now. Hey, what place is Deegan in? Well, I think. Huh? Roxon, what place is Deegan in? Hey, did you know I yeah, I saw his tackle. I did too. Man, you came out of nowhere. You just like... And then uh, coming around, Grayson Fisher ended up getting the checkered flag and the overall. Brody couldn't quite catch him. Braxton Waggler making his way around. And Jacob Bolin coming around to get the checkered flag on the last lap. As you can see in some of these corners, they were, after it kind of quit raining, they were kicking up a little bit of the dust that had built up in those cushions. But Brody Amos getting second. So originally this morning, uh, it didn't look like we had gotten that much rain, but as you can tell from the uh, youth race here, they, they had to deal with quite a, a lot, but um, you can know, see right there where we didn't, we didn't get a soaker because they, they churned up some dry dirt here. So if the uh, rain holds off, it's actually sprinkling a little bit right now, but if the rain holds off, it might actually be pretty good for Bryce's race. Here we go. Look at that pink up. 
Sky, why'd you break your bike? Huh? You're supposed to go faster than that. What about Lux? Lux, I made it. She over here, she got smoked up, clogged up. I got her going. I said, you're doing the rest of this lap. Hey. The raining? Rider. Huh? It wasn't supposed to rain right now. I know. They said like a 20% change. I know. Oh well, we'll be There's fine. There's always a chance of rain. Yeah. Like always. Yeah. There's always no chance of rain. Hey, Cooper. Yeah. Yeah, I get an umbrella. Why are you in the barn zone? Van, just it's okay to admit you're scared to hit the barn jump. No, I probably, I'm not scared. I think you are. You wouldn't even hit it on a bicycle. Well, yesterday. No back oh. So, so you're just gonna land on your front teeth? Legal. Front tire. I, you don't want to land on your front wheel. Yeah, you'd rather land on your back, Cooper. Come on. So Cooper Ryder rocks his leg. Taking off here. Not a great start. I think Truck Patterson got out to an early lead. I think Bailey was right behind him. Uh, this is Jeff's footage right after the start. So it looks like Ryder's right there in third. Uh, Cooper and Roxon back fifth and sixth ish. A lot of traffic back in the woods. There goes Ryder. Uh, Roxon had gotten around Cooper. And here comes Cooper through. Here's truck. Come through, he's still out in the lead. Ryder and Roxanne and I had some terrible camera work right here. Some of the trail rider kids coming through. I think Bailey was still in second, Ryder is in third right here. And then right here, uh, I think Cooper. Good job, Coop! Cooper is back in fifth or sixth. Now you can see right here it starts raining again about halfway through their race. Roxon had kind of caught up to Ryder. They were running third and fourth. I think Wesley Cooper was in fifth. I think Cooper was in sixth. You're 
right. Back in the woods, I think this is some of Jeff's footage. Ryder throws his goggles off there. And it's turned into a mutter. Uh, Cooper's race is almost over. That corner's still dry. Oh, oh, oh! Patterson comes through. He got the win today. Uh, Bailey Walker ended up second. And not too far behind them was a rider. He kind of almost got past by his brother. Ryder and Roxon are in. Oh, man. Looking fancy in your clear rain jacket. Huh? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Wow. Look at that factory. Woo! Gonna be a mutter. He can't even start his bike. So you're gonna race in that? I'm already burning. Okay. Just keep it on until we get down there. I'll take it. Hey, Jeff. Hey, good afternoon, Jeff. Where's the water? Hi. How was your race? Uh, no, it was pretty fun. Sweet. Very slick. Yours was fun, because you won. And I like your umbrella. I don't. <laughs> you did what on our 110? The barn jump, and he's being a baby tip at it. It's going to be dry inside there. You could probably do third gear, kind of like three quarter car, let let off and just coast right off. Sorry, Mike, the high water park. Back down here, around to the five, tie back into the the about the six. You got this little rolling downhill, and then all around into scoring. So just uh, make sure you follow the arrows. So I'm sitting there on the line and uh, this guy rolls up on one of the KTM e-bikes uh, to do his mutter. As you can see, it's currently raining. But here's the boys' start. Pretty good start for both of them. Rice gets to the first turn and second turn first and then uh, kind of skates down into turn number three and loses a couple spots. And then uh, actually Jackson and... can't make out who that was. I think it was Carmen, Gavin Carmen. I think C-Class here, I think this is, uh, yeah, Jet Oliver getting the whole shot there. Gets the bike straightened out and gets quite a few bike links before he gets into the woods. Here's Weston getting another good start. third turn right there was getting a lot of dudes. I can see it's kind of pouring at this moment. This is Jeff's, Jeff's footage here. Now that barn jump was pretty gnarly because they were just dragging a bunch of mud down in there. Once you got in the barn it was wood. Uh, and if you've ever ridden on wet wood uh, with a dirt bike it's Pretty much like riding on ice. So, got a few clips there from Jeff. Hi, son. I think Van was out front at this moment. Yeah, yeah. Ferguson coming through. I believe he was in third. Gavin Carmen there. I think this is. No, 
let's nick the cage on a CR. This might be... That's Van there. Some more barn jump footage. This is actually some of my footage and then, Hello. then I started heading back to uh, around the start area. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. Ran in a lot. I got soaking wet. Jackson Fisher. Uh, I think maybe he was out in front at this point. Robert Dillahay here and he ended up uh, getting the win in the open seat class. Getting all four of his laps in. He's getting very muddy. Weston coming through. Here comes mine. Kind of parked back at this hill for a while. It was getting kind of gnarly. Yeah, that's Jackson coming through. Making that hill look pretty easy. Van was not very far behind him. Really off there. Gavin was in third at that time. Sheesh, fan. What did you do? I don't think you can see out of those. We do some pit stops out here. What are you up to, Grayson? Oh. Fender looks, yeah. Just make offer. I'll give you 300 bucks. Hold on. Here's some gas. Here's some gas. There is no. There's some fresh goggles. Hey, that's 150 octane. You'll fly. You're gonna touch a thing. Okay. As long as it's leaded. Okay. Leaded. Actually, really, it's only 90. But there's no ethanol in it. It's all right. Get back after it. Hold on. Oh, yeah. nice funny. Funny. It is funny. Oh, to put that? Oh, that's all right. As long as the offer is somewhere around 3000 <laughs> You got it? Just ride with those things on there. Oh, there goes Weston. So a little bit in the day, it got kind of my got my phone to work, and um, it looked like it was gonna kind of pass us, and it looked like it was breaking up, but that ended up not being the case. Yeah, that radar mm, that didn't happen. It's definitely raining, and it's definitely not good out here. <laughs> I 
that was Caleb Ferguson coming through again. And I kind of went back down to this hill to kind of check it out because I knew it was going to start getting bad. A lot of guys down everywhere. One of the course marshal guys helping uh, one of the riders get nice. down that hill, which is really slippery. And then she did a real good job of getting out, up out of that valley. There's Weston. Here comes Bryce through. You can kind of see the rut coming down that hill was not straight, so it really pitched it all over the place. Those ruts are kind of the worst. Ethan Purdy coming through right there. And Jackson Fisher, I believe this was the last lap he was going on to get the checkered flag. <laughs> I think he yelled too much power. Then coming through to get the checkered flag again, right here where I'm at, probably maybe a mile or two from the finish line. Mr. Tom Grumman, come on. that right there is Mike Falk. Uh, he raced the uh, side by side earlier. So I just like this bike. I think it's a '96 CR250. Guys, just out there using it. Almost there! You got it! Woohoo! Bryce was running about 30 minute lap times, I think. Oh, man, I think his, uh, his total time on the track was almost oh, two man. hours uh, with it being just a 90 minute race. So he kind of came through just before Jackson and then had to do a whole nother lap, which put him out there for close to two hours. As you can see here, Van's a little spent. It's like you need some unibike or radiator guards. <laughs> Where'd you find? That's dry. Dry dirt? Look at that. <laughs> yep. Right on the camera. <laughs> Look, your bike's clean. Right there. One step? Yep. That means it wasn't that bad of a motor. You guys run that whole last lap together. That was smart. Weston had to make sure you could make it. <laughs> if he crashed and got stuck, were you going to help him? <laughs> Weston was on the side of a hill and I waved at him and went by. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> And I then zoom in, take a couple steps. Up. Ten seconds, and row number one, your pro division is off and rolling. And